Okay, so let's go on to the next example. I want to solve now log base 4 of x minus 6 plus log base 4 of x equal to 2. Now notice here I, ha I do have a number on one side, but on the left side I have a sum of two logs. So you have to remember the product rule of logs, where it said if you had log of a plus log of b, that was equal to the product a times b and taking log of that. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two using the product rule. So I'm going to have one log on the left side, base 4, of, and I'm going to go ahead and multiply x minus 6 times x equal to 2. So now I have log base 4 of x squared minus 6x equal to 2. Now I don't have a log on each side, so I cannot use that property of logarithms of, uh, above. But what I could do here is rewrite this in the exponential form. Meaning that I have my base 4 to the exponent 2 equal to the value x squared minus 6x. Again, if I rewrote this log equation in its exponential form, I would have base 4 to the exponent 2 equal to the value x squared minus 6. Notice this becomes a quadratic equation, and I'm left with 16 equal x squared minus 6x. Because of the x squared here, I have to be able to get 0 on one side, factor, and then use zero product property to find the solutions to this equation. So I'll go ahead and move 16 over to the right and get 0 equals x squared minus 6x minus 16. And then I'll go ahead and, and factor this equation. I'll have 0 equals, let's prompt our binomials, two factors of negative 16 that add up to be negative 6 would be minus 8 plus 2. I can set each factor equal to 0 and see that x equals 8 or x equals negative 2. Now, like we said before, mentioned before, up here, that sometimes we get extraneous solutions. These extra solutions that we get by default of algebra. They don't always work, but they just are thrown in there every now and then. So, over here, I have to make sure if I put an 8 into each of the original logs, that the value attached to the log will not be negative. So, I get 8 put in here, 8 minus 6 is 2, 2 is positive. 8, 8 is positive, log of 8 is positive. So come over here and take negative 2. Negative 2 minus 6 gives me negative 8. So again, if I put in negative 2 in here, negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. Right away, a log cannot be attached to a value that's negative. Don't even try the rest. You know it's an extraneous solution and we have to go ahead and throw it out. So this example only has one solution, which is x equals 8. Looking at this last example, we have log base 3 of x plus 3 plus log base 3 of x plus 5 equal to 1. So as before, I see a sum of two logs on the left side, which means I'm going to have to use the product rule. to combine these two logs into one log. So the first thing I would do is apply the product rule and have log base 3 of x plus 3 times x plus 5 equal to 1. Now, just like in the previous example, we'll go ahead and rewrite this log 
in exponential form. And again, you want to do this when you don't have two logs on each side of the equal sign. We took the base 3 to the exponent 1 equal to the value x plus 3 times x plus 5. We get this logarithm written equivalently in its exponential form. So this becomes 3 equals x squared plus 8x plus 15. Since we have x squared here, this means that this equation is quadratic and I'll have to get 0 on one side and I'll have to factor in order to solve. So the first thing I want to do is move the 3 here over to the right side and get 0 on the left equal to x squared plus 8x minus 3 from 15 which is plus 12. Then I could go ahead and factor, set up my binomials and two factors of 12 that add up to be 8, two factors of 12 that add up to be 8 is plus 6 plus 2. And now I can set each factor equal to 0. And I get x equal negative 6 or x equal negative 2. As before, we definitely still have to look for these extraneous solutions. And we got one in this example, negative 3 was extraneous. The second example, we got one, negative 2. So here I have to check both. Now just because both are negative, it doesn't mean neither of them will work. This is why we have to check our answers. So the first thing I would do is check x equal negative 6. So go back to the original equation and put in negative 6 for x, negative 6 plus 3, negative 6 plus 3 would be negative 3. And log cannot be attached to a negative value, and if I put in negative 6 into this first one, I get negative 3, which means the log is attached to a negative value. So we cannot use x equal negative 6. It will not make our equation true. The next solution we have is x equal negative 2. So if I put in negative 2 in for x, negative 2 plus 3, negative 2 plus 3, well that's 1. So that's positive. Log is attached to a positive value. Negative 2 plus 5, negative 2 plus 5, that's positive 3. And log is attached to a positive value. So here, if I put in negative 2, it does work and I do get values attached to the log that are positive. So we can keep negative 2 as a solution to our equation, but negative 6 ended up being our extraneous solution.